What's up guys, Vagik here. Today we're going to talk about how you can stop your Samsung smartphone from automatically downloading some blockware apps. So if you own a Samsung smartphone, then you must have noticed how it automatically downloads some apps that you don't need without your permission. Well, it is a common problem in companies' budget and mid-range devices. And I'm not talking about Samsung itself. There are some other brands as well who do these kind of practices and their smartphones uh, become laggy and slow after downloading all these bloatware apps and uh, you can uninstall these bloatware apps but there is no permanent solution for this but today i'm going to talk about some workarounds that you can try on your phone to keep your phone from downloading these bloatware apps so today we're going to focus on samsung smartphones and uh, i'm going to tell you how you can stop your phone from doing that all right guys so the first workaround is to remove the permissions from galaxy store app now to do that all you have to do is go to settings apps search for the galaxy store app and remove all the permissions from the permissions menu now just tap on that and tap on don't allow don't allow anyway go back uh, tap on location don't allow and go back that's it so once the permission are revoked now the galaxy store app won't be able to download these apps on your smartphone all right guys now for the second workaround and for that you have to go to settings apps and open galaxy store app now here make sure that this remove permission if app is unused feature is off then go to set as default and make sure this open supported links feature is off go back and tap on mobile data and make sure this allow background data usage is off as well going further and then you have to tap on change system settings and make sure this feature is off as well and then install unknown apps and make sure this feature is off as well then you have to tap on app details in store and uh, the store will open then you have to tap on this uh, three dots menu in the top right corner and make sure this auto update feature is checked off all right so moving on while setting up your galaxy store app for the very first time make sure that you have uh, unchecked this get news and special offer feature tap on agree and give your credentials and everything that it asks for now you have to disable this uh, permission just tap on don't allow and uh, make sure that this receive notification about new and exclusive content is off now tap on done right, guys now for the next workaround and if you have already set it up your galaxy store app then there are some settings in the store itself that will keep it from downloading these blockware apps now for that all you have to do is open the galaxy store app tap on this hamburger menu tap on this gear icon now we're in the settings now tap on this auto update apps and select never then uh, disable this get news and special features tap on turn off then you have to tap on this about galaxy store and uh, tap on this auto update and tap on using wi-fi only now then you have to tap on this customization service feature and it will open this list now you have to toggle all of these and once you do that for all the apps tap on this back icon on the top left make sure do not uh, tap on back or swipe the back gesture tap on this arrow icon once you do that you are in the settings and uh, here all you have to do is disable this customize this phone then you have to disable this use mobile data then you have to uh, scroll to the very bottom and uh, disable this customize ads feature and once you do that tap on erase your data and tap on erase and it will ask for your password for your account just enter your password and it will erase all your data from samsung server all right guys now for the last workaround and it is to stop using the galaxy store app completely for that all you have to do is go to settings scroll to apps 
scroll to Galaxy Store, go to Storage, tap on Clear Data, tap on OK and it's done. Now this app won't be able to download any app on your smartphone automatically without your permission. Now while doing this you are sacrificing a few things, one of which is that all the Samsung apps like Gallery, your camera app, contacts app and all the Samsung apps will not be able to update automatically. For that you have to open the Galaxy Store app, do those updates manually and then disable this app again. So that's it for today. Hope you liked the video. Hit the like button, get subscribed and I'll see you in the next one.